Never in the history of Parliament you can argue that the majority side have had so many dilemmas to solve. There's so many of them that you can even wonder how they begin to solve them one after the other. And we're going to be speaking to the Deputy Majority Leader, Alexa Nathaniel Marke, who is my guest tonight, about the many dilemmas the majority uh, is facing in Parliament. Let's go through some of the key issues that they have to deal with. One of the key issues that they've had to deal with is the Sputnik V controversy. Of course, we discussed this this week, right? And we know that the committee report has been adopted by the minority say they're going ahead uh, to file for a vote of censure to remove the minority leader in essence, which, which, which is just, these are the list of uh, issues they put forward. Then there's also today, there's a lot of controversy now in Parliament about the calls for a probe into the COVID-19 expenditure in Parliament, which in itself is causing a lot of controversy. Um, we know that as a result of this call, there is now some form of a very public spat between the substantive speaker and his first deputy speaker, who overturned a ruling that Abamba had been made, and today he's, he's attempted to undo it. Uh, accusing him of uh, offensive conduct. So this is playing out in the House. The minority side have said they're going to bring this particular motion back. What does the, what's the majority position on this? And then we have the calls for a probe into the uh, COVID-19 expenditure and some of the key things that they've listed here uh, form the basis of, of that. Now, as far as the probe is concerned, the ruling by the Speaker, uh, according to Finance, uh, the first Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Joseph Zouzou, the motion ought not to have been admitted. That, those are the words he used because the speaker had already admitted it. And his point is that he ought not to have done so. And so he overturned it. As we know, they reversed it. But then there's a major dilemma too um, around E-Levy. I, I guess it's the, it's the ultimate dilemma. It's the ultimate dilemma. Uh, because we know the last we heard of the E-Levy, the big question we are asking tonight is a simple one. What is the status of the E-Levy before Parliament? It's a very simple question. Because the last time we heard, we were at 1.75, and we were told that the Finance Minister had agreed that um, they're going to revise the bill and bring it down to 1.5. But since then, we were told they were going to go to Parliament and redraw what was there and replace it. And then that really didn't happen. So really, what is the status of the E-Levy? Um, we'll get some clarity for you on the issue. Related to that, it is this brewing issue surrounding one member of parliament, that is Sarah Drasafo, the MP for Dom Kwabenya, her continued absence. Is this the reason why they haven't moved forward with the E levy? We're going to get into all that for you tonight because Afenyo Markin is joining me. We'll start from his constituency, by the way, where another issue that has really caught this country and, and dominated the headlines for the past many, many, many weeks, the Utah strike, has been playing out. The university of Education Winneba, which is in his constituency, was the first university independently to break away, break ranks with the national executive when you taxi go back to the classroom. We'll get his quick comments on that and then we'll go into all the other dilemmas that parliament and the majority side you're having to deal with in the house. Stay with me here on PMSO.